Welcome to our lecture online. Again, we have a deck of cards of 52 cards. We're pulling five cards out of the deck. And now there are two restrictions to deal with. First of all, the first card must still be an ace. But the second restriction now is that the next four cards are not allowed to be an ace. They need to be another card. So how many different combinations? And yes, I said combinations because order does not matter. Here's the general equation to calculate the combination. We're going to have two different factors that need to be multiplied together. So the number of combinations is equal to the number of combinations of picking the first card. Notice there's four aces and we're going to pick one. So that's the combination of four and one. And we're going to multiply that times. Now we're going to pick four cards but how many cards are left to pick from? Remember, once we pick the ace on the first one, we're not allowed to pick an ace for the next four cards. So now there's only 48 cards remaining because the four aces are no longer permissible for the last four picks. So that means there's only 48 left to pick from. And so that's going to be the result, giving us the number of combinations of the hands that we can have with those restrictions. So this is going to be equal to 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 1 factorial times 1 over 1 factorial. And we multiply that times 48 factorial divided by 48 minus 4 factorial times 1 over 4 factorial. So simplifying that, we get 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial, which is simply 4 times 1 over 1, which is just 1 times, here we get 48 factorial divided by 44 factorial, so that's 48 times 47 times 46 times 45, and then divide that by 4 factorial, which is 24. Notice that the 24 and the 48 cancel out. And let's see what we have left. I need a calculator here. It's hiding underneath my napkin there. So we have 8 times 47 times 46 times 45 and that gives us a total number of combinations now of 778,320 so again that's being reduced from slightly less than a million when we only had one restriction to 778,320 when we have those two restrictions and that is how it's done. So I think I'd I like this because you can see how things change and how then the equation changes. Makes it good.